Hi. Welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss, how to pass AWS DevOps Engineer Professional Exam. About AWS DevOps Engineer Professional Certification. AWS certifications are quite popular within the DevOps industry, and being a part of this program gives more advantage. AWS DevOps Engineer Professional Certification, will examine your knowledge based on operating, managing, and provisioning the distributed applications, and systems on AWS platform. AWS DevOps Engineer role, is designed for individuals having advanced level knowledge in performing operations, in AWS environment together with the skills required to manage, and implement methodologies on AWS security control, and compliance validation. Some of the details, that you should be knowing before the exam, are given in the table below, AWS DevOps Engineer, Professional Exam Course Outline. AWS DevOps Engineer Certification includes six domains with focus on, SDLC Automation, Configuration Management, and Infrastructure as Code, Monitoring, and Logging, Policies and Standards Automation, Incident and Event Response and High Availability, Fault Tolerance, and Disaster Recovery. Domain 1, SDLC Automation. SDLC Automation is considered, to be an important area to focus on as it covers 22% of weightage in the exam. So you need to spend more time here. The sections included in module include, First, concept required, for automating CD pipeline. Second, determining strategies for source control, and how to implement them. Third, applying concepts for automating, and integrating tests. Fourth, applying ideas for building, and managing artifacts. Fifth, determining deployment strategies, domain two. Configuration management, and infrastructure as code. This domain covers 19% weightage of questions in the exam. This domain covers the following sections. First, determining deployment services, based on the requirement. Second, understanding application and infrastructure deployment based the business needs. Third, applying security concepts in the automation for resource and determining how to implement life cycle hooks on deployment. Fourth, applying concepts required for managing system using AWS management tools and services. Domain three, monitoring and logging. Monitoring and logging domain covers 15% of question weightage in the exam. This domain includes first, determining how to set up the storage, analysis of logs and metrics. Second, applying concepts required for automating, monitoring, and managing event of an environment. Third, applying concepts required for auditing, logs, and monitoring operating systems, infrastructures, and applications. Fourth, Determining Implementing Tagging, and Other Metadata Strategies, Domain 4, Policies, and Standards Automation. In this module, there are concepts related to monitoring and automation, and implementing strategies. The fourth domain covers 10% of weight age in exam. The section included in this are, first, applying concepts that are required to enforce standards for logging, metrics, monitoring, testing, and security. Second, Determining how to optimize the cost using automation. Third, applying concepts required to implement the governance strategies. Domain 5, Incident and Event Response. This domain covers 18% weight age in the exam. The sections covered in this domain are. First, troubleshooting the issues and determining how to restore the operations. Second, learning how to automate events alerting and management. Third, Applying concepts required for implementing automated healing, and to set up event-driven automated actions. Domain 6, High Availability, Fault Tolerance, and Disaster Recovery This domain includes various concepts of disaster recovery, and covers 16% of weight age in exam. The section includes topics such as. First, determining appropriate multi-region architectures use, and how to implement high availability, scalability, and fault tolerance. Second. Choosing the right services based on business needs. Third, determining how to design and automate various disaster recovery strategies. Prerequisites for AWS DevOps Engineer Exam. First, you need to have two or more years of experience in operating, provisioning, and managing AWS environment. Second, it is also required to have proficiency in one advanced level programming language. Third, it is required to have an understanding of operation process, modern development, and building highly automated infrastructure. Exam structure for 
AWS DevOps Engineer Exam AWS DevOps Engineer Certification Exam has MCQ type of questions. This is exam comes with two questions types. First, multiple choice questions. In this you only have select one correct option out of four options. Second, multiple responsive questions. In this there can be multiple correct answers from the options given. Exam scoring. First, in AWS DevOps Engineer Professional Certification, you need to select one or more best suitable answers depends on the type of questions. Second, no negative marking is there in the exam. Third, there can also be some portion in the exam, which hasn't assigned any score or no score will be given on that part. Exam result. First, exam score is scaled between 100 to 1000. Second, on percentage basis, you need to score between 70% to 75%. Third, it is not necessary to pass each section, you just have to get the overall passing score. Fourth, each section in this exam has a varying weighting, with different number of questions listed against each section in the exam. Fifth, AWS DevOps Engineer exam is based on pass or fail format. And, also the exam result will be mailed to you within five business days from the day of the exam. Sixth, Scoring in the exam is by minimum standards established by AWS professionals as per the good guidelines, and practice. Exam objective. Individuals giving this exam, are assessed on the following abilities. First, designing, maintaining, and managing tools for automating operational process. Second, defining, and deploying metrics and logging system on AWS. Third, implement the systems that are scalable, and highly available on AWS platform. Fourth, automating and implementing the security control and governance processes. Registration process. Following are the steps to register for AWS DevOps Engineer Professional Exam. First you need to register and sign into AWS.training. After that just click on certification on the top. Then click on AWS certification account, schedule new exam. Check for the exam you want to take and click schedule at Pearson VUI button or PSI. How to prepare for AWS DevOps Engineer Professional Exam First, Reference Books Second, Exam Course Provider Third, Exam Question and Answers Fourth, Exam Practice Test Fifth, Amazon Web Services Training Benefits of AWS DevOps Engineer Professional Certification Some of the key benefits of becoming AWS Certified includes First, the certification helps to reinforce your knowledge about AWS tools, such as Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Amazon Simple Storage Service, Amazon Relational Database Service, and AWS Identity and Access Management, to name a few. Second, AWS certification helps to explore how multiple AWS services are connected and how they amplify each other. Third, you learn by trying a wide variety of useful AWS services that most practitioners, some of which you might not be unaware of. Fourth, the certification helps to get greater insight into AWS pricing and billing to build more cost-efficient solutions. Cracking AWS Certification Exam For passing the AWS Certification Exam, you don't only have to study but, there is also a need to make a plan for achieving the certification. First, make a blueprint. Second, check for websites providing AWS certification. Third, understand the concept. Fourth, practice exam and test. Fifth, be punctual. Sixth, give the exam. For more such videos, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Also visit our website.